I want you guys to give a warm, warm welcome for Tessa Hope Morgan, everybody. Hi, you guys. Oh my gosh. I am so excited to be here right now. Um, I've been told that I'm a little young to be doing stand-up. Um, I am 17. Unless anyone in the audience likes what they see, then I am 18. <laughs> or 21 if you want to get a drink later. <laughs> no, I am um, 17, sorry. Uh, I have somehow managed to my entire life act like a 90-year-old woman, but dress like a slutty baby. <laughs> I do act like a 90-year-old woman. I just spend all my time like writing bad Yelp reviews and like correcting people's grammar. I think the only difference between me and my grandma is like, I'm not very good at knitting and I don't hate Jews. Um, <laughs> I was kind of weird when I was younger, I think. Um, I think I was just very inquisitive. I was always asking my parents like all sorts of questions and. They would like take me to church on Sundays, so it naturally I had lots of questions about like God and religion. And um, I was sitting at the kitchen counter with my mother one day, and I asked her like, "Mom, do you pray?" And she told me, "Of course I do, because that's how my mom sounds." Um, <laughs> and I asked her like, "What do you pray for?" And she told me. She said, "I pray for lots of things, dear. I pray for friends, family. I pray for your auntie Donna." I pray to God every day my tits don't sag like hers. <laughs> I pray for the troops. Not for the ones overseas, but for the ones back home for the holidays. Mommy prays very hard that one of them has a drinking problem and low standards. <laughs> I pray for the homeless. I pray the bum outside our apartment building gets a job soon. Because if he has mommy for money one more time, I'm gonna knock his fucking teeth in. I pray for the stray animals out on the streets. I said a prayer for our neighbor Martha's dog who passed away last night. But to be fair, the dog ran right out in front of my car. <laughs> I pray for your father, whoever he may be. <laughs> but most of all, I pray for you, dear. I do. I pray every day for the strength not to put you in foster care. So my mom and I are doing well. <laughs> Anyways. Um, this is actually only my second time doing stand-up ever in my life. Thank you. Uh, my first time was at the competition um, last Sunday, and I have been amazed at how nice the audience has been. And I think it's because you guys are a Sonoma audience. I really think that's it. You know, something really beautiful happens when you put 40 alcoholics in one room. <laughs> He likes that one. It's <laughs> good. I guess it's time for some topical humor. So, Hillary Clinton, right? No, I am. Um, I love Hillary Clinton. I look at her and I just think, I could do that. I could probably do that. I think anyone who's capable of like a passing Hillary Clinton impression is qualified to be Hillary Clinton. I think that's just the cutoff. I have um, a lot of things I could say on. Donald Trump, um, but if I may, I've written a series of similes that I'd like to share um, about what Donald Trump looks like, so if I may. <sighs> Donald Trump looks like a melted orange popsicle. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Donald Trump looks like a crumpled up beach towel. Donald Trump looks like the drain of a summer camp community shower at the end of the week. <laughs> Donald Trump looks like the shockingly old cat at the animal shelter that scares the children. <laughs> Donald Trump looks like a moldy jack-o'-lantern three weeks after Halloween. <laughs> Donald Trump looks like the one ugly friend in any group of girls at the bar. Donald Trump looks like any slide of an inkblot test. 
like a sunburnt toddler and like the wise old turtle from Kung Fu Panda. Thank you guys so much.